Hello, my name is Stellan Obarmi Samuel. Remember that whether your attitude is positive or negative, it's dependent upon the situation, it's dependent upon a goal. Whether you're running away from the goal or you're being attracted to it, it's, uh, it that's what forms whether your attitude is positive or negative. And how you behave in a particular situation to a large extent is a function of what you have in your subconscious uh, by virtue of your experiences in the past, your belief system. So the question that you should be observing in yourself is what am I trying to get out of? Where am I creatively avoiding doing things that I should engage in that will make my life go better? Why can't I seem to get myself to do this? Now you don't even know you have the attitudes you have when all of a sudden with a goal that could be very rewarding you just won't let yourself do something. You say well I was born this way or you try to rationalize, make excuses and find reasons. It's really just your attitude. All you have to do now is recognize when you are getting negative feedback which you can tell through procrastination and creative avoidance. As you start growing it's a good idea to keep a reflective diary when you can't get yourself to do something socially or you can't get yourself to do something vocationally and you ask yourself what's wrong with me where did this come from go back and try to figure it out remember your subconscious will play a very significant role here find out your experiences in the past then what we need to do is to use the affirmation and visualization process to put in a more mature and positive emotion in regard to the situation in question so that you stop avoiding and you start seeking. It means you can turn around from a negative attitude to a positive attitude and vice versa. And you also would need to anticipate ahead where in the past we have possibly had negative feedback we need to take responsibility or accountability to uh, change the feedback the feedback loop so that we allow ourselves to seek out the knowledge of the situation to be in places that before we wouldn't let ourselves to go some of us true have been very restricted by our parents or other adults or neighbors because of one thing or the other it could be environmental it could be some social structure it could be something you know and these things will probably may probably have kept us stuck almost in our own inner prison even when we are given the freedom to be able to seek and to go out um, and maybe find good things something inside of us won't let us do it we need to use the process of affirmation to change that negative feedback to a positive feedback that releases the potential inside of us it allows us to seek it so is it impossible for us to be stuck to be uh, to creatively avoid the doing of some things that would actually be beneficial to us the answer is yes but we the, the consciousness the, the knowledge that we have would help us you see when we talk about positive and negative attitude it's like it's like a balanced skill if you have so many negative experiences you will be the, the, the skill will be tilted to the negative point and it will reflect in your actions and reactions okay but if you've had uh, positive experiences um, a, a good number of them a large quantity of them it's also going to reflect in your positive attitude in a particular situation so every time we think a negative thought we put a negative weight in uh, in in the bucket of the scale that would tilt negatively so you build your beliefs with your own thoughts and you carry them with you into adulthood uh, many of us have done that so your choices will be made because you because you know about you how you feel how good you are and you're making choices based upon your opinion of your effectiveness of how good you are in every area from athletics to driving business to saving money every self image that you have positive or negative is built in the same manner so you want to act positively then you have to be consciously and consistently involved in positive building positive beliefs and talking positive thank you so much for listening and like always I want you to go and succeed.